Next on BGSU Brain Game, Rossford versus Patrick Henry. You better buckle up for a collision of the cranial karatekas. Only one team can leave victorious. Who is it going to be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU Brain Game, Rossford versus Patrick Henry. Let's meet our teams. Patrick Henry, tell us who you are. I'm Addison Kirkland, a senior. To my left is Brenton Reddick, a junior. And to my right is Andrew Baden, a senior. And we're coached by Mrs. baden -Hop. All right, welcome to Patrick Henry. Rossford, tell us who you are. All righty, I'm Trevor Scuddy. <laughs> and we're from Rossford. I'm 11th grade. This is Joshua Griggs, also in 11th grade. To my right, I've got Cole Bach, 10th grade. All right. And you're coached by? Dan and Borski. All right, welcome to Rossford as well. Going to start things off with our toss-up round. There are 10 questions in this round. They're worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer, so have some fun in this round. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question. Rossford, Patrick Henry, are you ready? Yes, toss-up round starts right now. According to Greek mythology, what was the only thing which remained in the box when Pandora unleashed the evils of Patrick Henry Addison? Hope. Hope was the only thing left in the box, correct. What is the area of a rectangle with a width of 17 inches and a length of five inches? That would be Rossford, Trevor. 85. 85 square, you got it. It has nothing to do with the bathing of swine. Identify this colloquialism that means nonsense. Patrick Henry, Addison. Hogwash. That's what they would say. It is indeed hogwash. We all remember what f the famous, that famous duo of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll's first name was Henry. What was Mr. Hyde's first name? It was Edward. The third stanza of We Wish You a Merry Christmas says, oh, we won't go until we've got some, got some what? That would be Patrick Henry. Andrew. Fudgy pudding. We cannot accept that. I'm sorry, Rossford, would you like to steal? That would be Joshua. Figgy pudding. Figgy pudding, yes, figgy pudding. St. Elmo's fire usually occurs during what type of weather conditions? That would be Rossford Trevor. High heat, low pressure. Incorrect. Patrick Henry, would you like to steal? That would be Addison. A heat front. Incorrect. We had one earlier tonight. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. If a painting is carefully created to cause a buyer to believe it is the original work of a famous artist, what is the fake copy called? That would be Patrick Henry Addison. Forgery. Forgery or a counterfeit. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made their historic landing on the moon. What was the name of the lunar module in which they traveled? That would be Patrick Henry. Brenton. The Eagle. Correct. Tranquility Base. The Eagle has landed. In algebra, what do we call a polynomial equation of second degree? Rossford, Trevor. Quadratic. Quadratic is correct. If you have already masticated your food, what have you done to it? That would be Rossford, Trevor. Chewed it. You have indeed chewed it. That is all 10 questions in our toss-up round. And with that last answer, we are tied. Rossford, 40. Patrick, Henry, 40. A very, well, it doesn't get any closer than that, ladies and gentlemen. So that means you're definitely going to want to stick around because our risk and reward round coming up next. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. We are tied. Patrick, Henry, Rossford, both at 40 points apiece. Before we move on, it looks like we have some new players here. Patrick Henry, who has joined your team? On the right, we have Alyssa Gabers, a senior. 
Welcome to you, Rossford, who has joined your team. We have Daniel Chen, an 11th grader. All right, welcome to you and, of course, to all of our returning players. This is the risk and reward round. Both teams, you will receive the same nine questions. They are 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer, so still have some fun in this round. However, things get a little bit more dramatic with our 10th question. It is our risk and reward question. You will be able to risk up to 30 points in five-point increments based upon a topic that we give you. Uh, an in, a correct answer will give you those points. An incorrect answer, you will lose those points, as well as a non-answer on that. If you do not like the topic, though, you can simply pass. All right, 40 versus 40. We are tied. We had to flip a coin. Patrick Henry won the toss. They are sticking around. Rossford, out you go. Off to isolation it is. All right, Patrick Henry, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Starts right now. Who composed the tune to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? That would be Addison. Buck. Incorrect. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is what we needed there. From which John Bunyan allegory did President Theodore Roosevelt borrow an idea when he coined the term muckrakers in 1906? Time. That was Pilgrim's Progress. Spell colloquial. That would be Addison. C O L L. O-Q-U-I-A-L. Correct. In algebra, what do we call sets that have no elements in common? That would be Addison. Unique sets. Incorrect. Disjoint sets. How many squares are on a checkerboard? Not in time, I'm sorry, 64. A certain rectangle has an area of eight square units with the longest side equaling four units. What is the length of the shortest side? That would be Alyssa. Two. Correct. In computer science, a compiler translates what type of code into object code? Time, that will be the source code. What do we call an interval of eight music notes? That will be Addison. An octave. It's indeed an octave, yes. True or false, The Glass Menagerie was written by Truman Capote. That would be Addison. True. False, Tennessee Williams. Risk and reward time. The topic is assassinations. Would you like to risk or pass? We'll risk 15. Risking 15 points on assassinations. In what year were Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert Kennedy both assassinated? That would be Brenton. 1968. Correct, 15 bonus points for Patrick Henry. That ends the risk and reward round for you. It's now time for you. Head off, isolation you go. All right, let's bring back in Rossford. Welcome back to you, Rossford. Are you ready for your risk and reward round? As always. Game on, here we go. Who composed the tune to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? That would be Trevor. Mozart. Correct. From which John Bunyan allegory did President Theodore Roosevelt borrow an idea when he coined the term muckrakers in 1906? Time, Pilgrim's Progress. Spell, colloquial. That would be Trevor. C-O-L-L-O-Q-U-I-A-L. Correct. In algebra, what do we call sets that have no elements in common? Trevor. 
Diverse sets? Incorrect. Disjoint sets is what we needed there. How many squares are on a checkerboard? Trevor. 64. Correct. A certain rectangle has an area of eight square units with the longest side equaling four units. What is the length of the shortest side? That would be Trevor. Two units. Correct. In computer science, a compiler translates what type of code into object code? Trevor. Binary. Incorrect. Source code is what we needed there. What do we call an interval of eight music notes? Trevor. Measure. Excuse me? A measure. Incorrect. An octave. An octave is what we needed there. True or false, The Glass Menagerie was written by Truman Capote. Trevor. True. False. Tennessee Williams. Risk and reward time. The topic is assassinations. Rossford, you can risk up to 30 points in five point increments or you can pass. What are you gonna do? We'll take it for 10. Taking it for 10 points. Risk and reward on assassinations. In what year were Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert Kennedy both, that would be Trevor. 1968. Correct, bonus 10 points for you. That is the end of the risk and reward round now for Rossford. Let us clear our score and bring in Patrick Henry. Welcome back to PH. Patrick Henry, you have how many points? 85. Rossford, you stand at? 90 points. Only five points separate the two teams at the end of two rounds. You're going to want to stick around because things are going to start to change very, very quickly. It's our category round coming up next. Questions can be worth up to 30 points apiece, and deductions on every question start. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Patrick Henry, 85, Rossford, 90 points. All right, before we move on, uh, looks like we have some new and returning players. Patrick Henry, who is uh, with your team now? On my right is Brennan Yates, a junior. Welcome to you, Rossford. What you got? We've got Joshua Griggs, an 11th grader. All right, welcome to our players who have just joined us and to all of our returning players. All right, this is the category round. Power shift now to you, our teams. Six categories to choose from inside each category. Our questions were 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points. But bum, bum, bum. That's right. Deductions start now. If you go for 20, that means you're risking 20 points as well. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question in this round. And somewhere in there is a double or nothing question. Could be a game changer. We'll see. All right, Patrick Henry, you get to make the first selection. Well, of Asian capitals for 10. Asian capitals for 10 points. I will name the Asian nation. You will reply with the capital. Saudi Arabia. That would be Patrick Henry. Brenton. Rita. Rita is correct. Uh, Patrick Henry in control. We'll stick with Asian capitals for 15. Asian capitals for 15 points. Turkey. That would be Patrick Henry. Brenton. Ankara. Correct. Patrick Henry still in control. Asian capitals for 20. Asian capitals for 20 points. Oman. Time, Muscat is what we needed there. Patrick Henry still in control, making a move. Asian capitals, 25. Asian capitals for 25 points. Laos. That would be Rossford, Trevor. Cambodia. Incorrect, Patrick Henry would you like to steal. Time. Vientiane is what we needed there. Patrick Henry in control. Asian capitals, 30. Asian capitals for 30 points. Mongolia. That would be Patrick Henry. Brenton. Ulan Bator. Ulan Bator is correct. That finishes off that category. Patrick Henry in control, stepping on the gas. Can we try games potpourri? For how many? 10. Games for 10. If you pass go and collect 
that would be Rossford, Joshua. Monopoly. You are indeed playing Monopoly. Rossford snatches control from Patrick Henry. Games, 15. Sticking with games for 15 points. In Scrabble, how many points is the letter Z worth? That would be Rossford, Joshua. 10. It is indeed 10 points. Rossford in control, making a move, climbing back. Games, 20. Games now for 20 points. Name this popular game that is a cross between ping pong and tennis. Patrick Henry, Brennan. Pickleball. Pickleball is correct. Patrick Henry back in control. Let me try revolutions and rebellions for 10. Revolutions and rebellions for 10 points. Identify each of the following revolutions or rebellions based on the given description. 1794 revolt by Pennsylvania farmers over in, that would be Rossford, Trevor. Bacon's Rebellion. Incorrect. Over an excise tax placed, that would be Patrick Henry. Brenton. The Whiskey Rebellion. The Whiskey Rebellion is what we needed there. Patrick Henry in control. Revolutions for 15. Revolutions now for 15 points. 1786 to 1787 rebellion on American soil by farmers against perceived economic injustices. Time, that would be Shays' rebellion. Patrick Henry in control. Latin phrases for 10. Latin phrases for 10 points. I will read a phrase in the English language. You are to provide the commonly used Latin phrase that is its equivalent. Something for something or this for that. Time, that will be a quid pro quo, quid pro quo. Patrick Henry in control. Revolutions and rebellions for 20. Revolutions and rebellions now for 20 points. 1831 slave revolt that took place in the South Southampton, Virginia, at, named after its leader. Time, that would be Nat Turner's rebellion. Patrick Henry still in control. Early urban America for 10. Early urban America for 10 points. Identify each of the following associated with early urban America. 778 acre region of New York City. De that would be Patrick Henry, Brenton. Central Park. That is indeed Central Park. Patrick Henry still in control. Early urban America for 15. Early America for 15 points. City where the great fire of 18, that would be Patrick Henry, Brenton. Chicago. 1871 fire in Chicago, correct. PH in control, making a move. Early America for 20. Early America now for 20 points. Virginia City, that was home to the first electric trolley line. That would be Patrick Henry, Brenton. Richmond. Richmond is correct. Patrick Henry in control. Early America for 25. Early America now for 25 points. Epidemic in 1793 that took the lives of 10% of the city of Philadelphia. Time, yellow fever is what we were looking for there. Patrick Henry in control. Early urban America for 30. Early urban America for 30 points. City whose filling of the back bay began in 1857. That would be the city of Boston. Patrick Henry in control. L words for 10. L words for 10 points. Identify the following things, places, people, or ideas that begin with the letter L. End of round, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick Henry, you are in the lead with 215 Rossford at 80 points, but it's not over yet. That's right, our brainstorm round is coming up next. Questions worth 20 points apiece. Negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. Not over till it's over. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU's Brain Game. Rossford, 80 points. Patrick Henry, 215 points. Patrick Henry, you have a new player on your lineup. Who is it? Zach Brent, a senior. 
Welcome to you, Ross, for staying with your lineup from the last round, and welcome to all of our returning players. This is the brainstorm round. All questions in this round are worth 20 points apiece, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, but no stealing. I repeat, no stealing in this round. Rossford, Patrick Henry, are you ready? Brainstorm starts right now. In what war did General Custer first fight? That would be Patrick Henry, Brenton. Mexican-American War. Incorrect, the Civil War. Kwanzaa is a Swahili term. What does it mean? Rossford, Kolbach. Christmas. Incorrect. First fruits. What letter is Hester Prynne sentenced to wear in Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter? That will be Patrick Henry Addison. A. A is correct. Charles Lindbergh took off from Long Island and landed in what country to complete his nonstop? That would be Patrick Henry Brenton. France. Did indeed land in France. Which of your body systems is damaged by hemotoxins? That would be Rossford. Trevor. The capillaries. In, will we accept capillary? I'm sorry, we cannot. Circulatory, close. Find the greatest common factor of 28 and 49. Time, that would be seven. When atoms of the same element have different masses, what are they called? Rossford, Trevor. Isotopes. Isotope is correct. What is the chemical symbol for the element palladium? Rossford, Trevor. PD. PD is correct. A monatomic ion consists of how many atoms? That would be Patrick Henry Addison. One. One is indeed correct. The word Jabberwocky was taken from a poem by what author? Rossford, Trevor. Ma Ma Maya Angelou. Incorrect. Lewis Carroll. The Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building at 2,717 feet. In what city that would be Rossford, Joshua? Dubai. Dubai is correct. How many bisectors does any given angle have? That would be Patrick Henry, Zach. Two. Incorrect, one. The words race car and madam are examples of what? That would be Rossford, Trevor. Compound words. Incorrect, palindromes. If a certain class has 24 boys and 21 girls, what is the ratio of boys to girls? Rossford, Trevor. Seven to eight. Opposite, you had it wrong. Eight to seven is what we needed there. The relish tray included, included gherkins. What are gherkins? Time, end of round, they are indeed Pickles is what they are. Rossford, 40 points in our winner. Patrick Henry with 235 points. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. The spirit of good sportsmanship, let's meet in the middle, shake hands, bump fists. We'll see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.